Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. Today the lab is all about reflected DOM XSS. So this lab demonstrates a reflected DOM vulnerability. Reflected DOM vulnerability occur when server-side application processes data from a request and echoes the data in the response. So a script on the page then processes the reflected data in an unsafe way, ultimately writing it to a dangerous sink. So because we are talking about DOM based XSS or DOM. So in DOM, as I mentioned before, source and sync, these two things are very important to find and to identify within the script where the source is and where the sync is. Okay. So to solve the lab, create an injection that calls the alert function. So cross site scripting is a type of uh, injection attack. Okay, same like uh, SQL injection attack. So let's go. I'm going to access the lab now. So here we have our lab. Now let's see because we need to see the search functionality here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to enable the burp proxy. So all my traffic go through the burp proxy. So enable the burp proxy, uh, refresh the page one more time. So the initial request also uh, captured here you can see this is the initial request one more thing uh, I'm going to mention here that if I go and inspect or if I go to see the uh, page source uh, one thing you will identify here if you see the whole HTML page you will not find here a script tag so just one script is there which is uh, uh, pointing out to the labheader.js javascript file uh, otherwise you will not find here any other script tag fine so where exactly the script is and how this functionality is working we need to find out that so i'm going to search cybersec radar and let's see so once we search there is no result as expected it's showing zero search result so I'm going back to the burp proxy and here we have all the requests. So you can see here, this is, this is what we search and this is the request for the search. And uh, if you see the response here, you can see the response we found here uh, in the JSON format, right? So there are two things. One is result and another one is search term. And the search term contains the value what we input before in the search, uh, search input field right and uh, if you see here uh, above this request for the search parameter request if you see here above this i'm filtering this field in the descending order okay not in the ascending order so you can see this is the request fine uh, there is one javascript file named as uh, search result so if you see that files uh, response within the response you will find something interesting and the interesting part here this file have some functions and these functions are related to the search functionality right so you can see here the first function uh, named as search and it is taking the argument path named as path then it's creating one variable xhr and is equal to new xml http request fine so within the xml http request there is a function called uh, method called on ready state change so within this method it's creating one another function and within this function there is an statement that if there is a condition if this dot ready state is equal to 4 and status is equal to 200 then it is going to execute one avail function and I want to tell you here once I see this avail function I know that the application is vulnerable why because this avail function is very very dangerous there are many javascript functions those are dangerous and not recommended to use but here as you can see avail function is called within this uh, it's saying variable search results object and search results object it is taking from here because you can see the next line 
is calling one more function named as display search result and the argument used here is search result object so this function is defined here below this function search path function so you can see this function display search result and the argument is search result object fine and there are different variable also uh, one of them variable uh, one of them uh, a variable named as search term so this search term is equal to search result object dot search term fine um, the last thing here is xhr dot open it is going to open it and using the get method with path which is this argument plus windows dot location dot search for now this is enough evidence that the application is vulnerable fine <coughs> so if you search here now uh, let me just uh, explain this or show you that if i just open uh, one new tab and let's say evil function in javascript fine let's see what we got so let's open the first one and the second one so everywhere wherever you see about the evil method you will find here if i scroll down you can see this one this warning do not use avail why because executing javascript from a string is a big security risk with avail that means if you are using avail method malicious code can run inside your application without permission without permission okay so third party code can see the scope of your application which can lead to possible attacks if you use the avail function because if you use it then malicious code can run uh, in the application without permission and that's why it's very very dangerous here in the second link you can again see with the first heading of the avail there is a warning executing javascript from a string is an enormous security risk it is far too easy for a bad actor to run arbitrary code when you use avail method and uh, this is really really dangerous so, so not recommended fine so we see that avail function is used now the thing is uh, if i go back to the search result this is the request where we search something so you can see the search term here okay and whatever we use here the input it is going to be executed within the avail within the avail so avail search result object okay this is acting as a string so the data type is a string so what we need to do here is let's go back here and i'm going to send this request to the repeater now go to the repeater search uh, send this request again so we know okay the response we see now what we need to do here is we need to escape this double code so that we can uh, execute the alert function we can call the alert function because if we write you can see here this is the parameter and we write here cyber secret are so what i'm going to do uh, let's see if i just uh, if i just write here double quote okay and let's see so you can see one thing interesting here again that if we try to put single uh, double quote here the json response is trying to escape this meta character double quote with the backslash this is the first thing so uh, if i say alert okay and before alert i put the double quote you can see the response this json response is going to try to escape this double quote and it's automatically putting here backslash so what we can do we can put here one more backslash and let's send this so now once we send this you can see uh there is double backslash and because of this double backslash now the double quote is unescaped fine so the first part we win you can see the color is also changed it's now white so this alert is now outside of this but the problem here is 
it's still enclosed with this so we also want to uh, we also want to close this so what i can do i can put here let's say one closed curly bracket send this again we need to comment this one this part okay and for this what we can do after this curly braces i'm going to put two forward slashes to comment this okay send that again and now as you can see uh, this thing will not count okay and i think uh, this should work so i'm going to take this complete input and paste it here search it uh, okay we did not get any alert uh, let's see one more thing i can do here is uh, you remember the lab number 10 i think 10 or 9 uh, we try some operators arithmetic and logical operators so here also we can try that so let's try and and fine you can see now the alert function is moved from here that means that means it should work it should work now copy that come back here paste it and boom we got that and here we have the alert now congratulations you solved the lab i want to test few more things uh, instead of and let's use single pipe and yes that's also working uh, let's try something else uh, let's try plus sign that is also working paste that instead of that this time i'm going to use minus sign this is also working uh, paste that and instead of and i'm trying to use a star let's see okay that is also working so that's it i think uh, that's it for this lab uh, if you like the content please like subscribe and share and i'm going to see you in the next video bye